Hey, I just wanted to show you the new features just released into um, Video Sketcher. And um, when you log in and you go to um, my videos, um, you won't have any at first, but um, any video profile that you have, you can now set up to run on a schedule, meaning it will be published to YouTube on the days of the week or the month that you specify. So um, I'll show you more of that here in a little bit. And then on the published video tab, so these are the profiles or the definitions you've set up for the videos. Uh, and then each time it runs, you there are settings uh, that I'll show you to uh, randomize the video to make it unique. Uh, so that is a totally new and different video that gets uploaded to YouTube every time. And it's all done automatically. So now um, on the published video section, you'll see any video that has been run um, on a schedule uh, or automatically posted will have the the icon next to it as well okay so if I go into this one we'll look at some of the, the things I've added here recently um, not related to scheduling but uh, there are a few new fonts here you can pick from and so you can use those um, in anywhere that you have text and then um, uh, let's see if we go to the audio section some of the fields you'll notice um, are now text area fields where you can have multiple lines as opposed to just one. And what happens with that is uh, you can load as many uh, audio tracks in here as you like. And uh, this track here really should be your um, background music track. So um, if you have a voiceover or something like that that's separate, use the second one. Uh, and I'll show you that. I'll show you why here in a bit. But both of these, however, will will get uh, rotated through. So every time the video is published to YouTube or, or downloaded, it will use uh, the top um, music track. And then what it does is it takes that and it moves it to the bottom of the list. And then so that next time it will that it's published, it will pick. Uh, the next one in line so it just rotates through all of these so you could have two three ten a hundred it doesn't matter however many you put in here it's just going to keep rotating through those all right now uh, also on the if we go into the slides and I just open one of these slides what we have now is we have an option to randomize the duration and what happens with that is as the video is being generated and you can hover over uh, this icon to get a description <clears throat> but um, what it does is it takes 50 percent of this value and will tack uh, up to 50 percent so anywhere from zero to two and a half seconds will be added to this slide and so it could be um, you know 1.37 seconds that gets added and what what happens with that is uh, it doesn't increase it by too much, but it um, causes the video to be you know more unique. So uh, when it gets published to YouTube, this is just another factor to kind of change things up a bit. Okay, now um, let's see if I go into uh, the publishing tab here and under the YouTube form. There are a few, th few new things here. Uh, one is the title. You can now have multiple titles that will rotate through. Um, titles, you can do things like um, uh, just put a unique title in each line, and it will just start rotating through all those. So you could load this up with 100 different titles, and every time it's published, it's going to pick, um, pick a new one and just go down the list. <clears throat> you might just have a couple of titles. But you can use something called spin tax. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can probably Google it. But it's a it's a notation that allows you to kind of randomize things. So, for example, if you use curly braces and pipe or the vertical bars between things. So I have a curly brace, and then I have the um, test, or let's say I could say testing. That's the second option. Then close the curly brace. Okay, so. When that title is generated, it's going to pick one of these two. 
these pipes and things and the braces will go away. So when it gets published to YouTube, it'll either say test music rotation or it'll say testing music rotation. So, um, and you can have as pretty much as many options as you want. Um, anything you want to put in there. And as long as you follow this format with the curly braces and then the, um, the pipes separating the, um, the vertical bar separating each of the choices like that and you could um, you could add you know you can have multiple words in there so it could be testing the music testing music you know just whatever so you get the idea and that works for both the title and the description so you could use this the spin text in the description as well in fact you can use it in your slides as well in the text in the slides so here you can use the spin text. You can also use it in the speech, this text to speech. You can use the spinning syntax in there as well. Okay, so um, and I believe even the tags. I have to double check that, but uh, you can test that, of course. Um, and then uh, probably the next big thing here uh, is this new scheduling and shuffle uh, button, and I have it turned on. So. If I click this button, we're going to get some options for automatically publishing this video on a regular basis. So the way this works is um, if you want to, a new video published every day of the week for this profile or this video definition, um, it's going to generate a new video and publish it to YouTube for whatever days you have checked. So you could say, I just want it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I want to disable these. Or or you could just say, I just I want to publish one, um, you know, on the first and the tenth uh, and the twentieth, and let's say the twenty-eighth of every month. So there's four new videos that are produced every month on those days. Um, you could use it in combination with days of the week. So it's going to be every Monday and then every first, tenth, twentieth, and twenty-eighth, whatever you want. Um, it could just be the first of the month. It could, yeah. So you, you get the idea. Um, as you um, set this up, you just check these boxes, and when you hit done and you save your profile, it'll be saved. Um, the next tab here is uh, the shuffling of the slides. So um, if you have, <clears throat> you have to have, um, depending on what you pick, you need to have multiple slides available, but let's say you have eight slides and um, what you can do is you can turn shuffling off meaning every time the video is published the pictures that are rotated through in the order those will stay the same every time if you turn shuffling on to all that means it'll randomize the pictures every every time the slides so from the first to the last will be could be just totally different uh, you might have something where you want everything but the first one or everything but the last one are all but the first and the last and what this allows you to do is only shuffle uh, so let's say if you have an intro slide and an exit slide that you just always want to be the first one and the last one you want those to always be where they are uh, because it has the contact info or has the logo or has of the client or whatever um, this is uh, so you want to keep those in place but all the ones in the middle um, you would uh, those would be shuffled around and something, some interesting statistics real quick uh, the, of the various possibilities. So if you only have two slides that you're shuffling, well, there's only two possible combinations. So it could be the first one and the second one, you know, slide one, slide two, or slide two, slide one. And as you increase, of course, your combinations go up. So if you have three slides, you have six possibilities, four slides of 24. Um, if you get to eight slides, there are actually over 40,000 possible combinations. Uh, if you get the nine slides, 362,000 plus combos. Uh, and then, then after that, it gets into millions, multiple millions. So um, if you get up to 10, for example, if you have 10 slides, there are 3.6 million possible uh, combinations of the order of those slides. So that's kind of interesting. Um, of course, the more slides you add, the more randomized it gets, and uh, the the more unique it becomes. So, all right, this shuffle audio slide. This explains here that 
Uh, for remember when I said you want to use audio track one if you have background music, uh, use audio track one. Well, the reason for that is you can shuffle the starting point of the audio. So um, the way that works is, let's say you have a an audio file that is uh, three minutes long, and your video is whatever a minute and a half long, or say the audio is two minutes long, your video is one minute long. So what it does is it looks at the difference and so that you have an extra minute of audio there available so what it does is it picks a random starting point uh, within the first minute so it might start say 30 seconds into the audio or it might start 35 or 22 or whatever 50 and so um, every time the video is generated the audio will fade in uh, at the beginning of the video like normal but it's at a different point in the audio. So most of the time when you're playing a background music, it doesn't really matter so much the beginning of it, you know, so it's just background music. Uh, your voiceover, your text-to-speech, all that stays timed perfectly, and uh, the audio, the background music will just fade in. And what that does is, um, again, it's another feature to make the, the video unique so that when you're publishing to YouTube, uh, YouTube sees, as a, sees it as a completely different video in multiple ways. One's the audio's different. The starting point of the audio, it's not starting with that same, you know, MP3 file. Um, and then when you add in these extra things like the shuffling of the slides, uh, the spinning of the tag or the text and the text to speech and the text in the slides and the video, it it really is something completely totally different. And uh, YouTube. Um, they're getting smarter all the time, but uh, I I can't imagine that they'd be able to figure out that it's <laughs> it's uh, something. Um, uh, uh, it just looks completely different. So um, that pretty much covers all the the features, and these are all available right now. If you have an account, uh, you can start using them today. And um, uh, one thing to make sure is. Uh, if you're using the scheduling functionality, uh, make sure your login for YouTube is correct. And the best way to do that is to save your profile and then um, actually publish a test to YouTube. Uh, you might want to make it unlisted, publish it, publish it as a test. Also, whatever other settings you have in here, will. Uh, so let's say you have it on a schedule, but you left it on unlisted. Well. It's uh, you're publishing a bunch of videos that no one's going to see probably, so you want to double check, make sure once you've tested it, everything works, looks good. Make sure that uh, you're set on public so that people uh, will see the video. And then uh, one other note, uh, something I'm, uh, I need to update, but uh, if you're rotating in the audio here, let's say you publish it. If you publish this right now. And uh, you publish it to YouTube from from this interface, not from the schedule. It'll take this first line as the audio, and it saves it uh, before, so it'll save it and then publish it automatically when you hit publish. Um, if you do it again without refreshing the page, it's going to use the same audio file that's on top here. So uh, to get around that, at this point, what you need to do is um, uh, publish it and then reload the page. When you reload the page you'll see that this this one is now at the bottom uh, and then the second one is now this, this on the top and it'll rotate through the, to the next audio file. Um, I'll probably make an update here pretty soon to where you don't have to think about that but um, uh, that's just a little bit of a thing to watch out for right now because if you publish to YouTube and then you publish again you might notice while well, it's the same audio file um, that's how, that's why, is because if you leave this open and then publish it and then just republish it again, uh, it's going to use the same one. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy the uh, new features and um, go ahead and, and there are probably, there are hundreds of ways to use this. So uh, I'm looking forward to hearing back from, from you on how you're putting this to use for uh, real estate or for any, virtually any business uh, that you want to put uh, videos out there for on kind of a drip feed into YouTube. Thanks.